coming up in this week's episode. What was awesome though is that those spots and the dirt sections are broken up with bitumen. So yeah. as Paul he said to me, you know, kind of by the time you get to the bitumen and then you've got that beautiful stretch of, <sighs> you kind of forget what you've just driven on. You dry clean your memories. Yeah. Yeah. And and you think, wow, this is really great. And then, you know, and you're just like, oh, yeah. Lord, get me out of here. Uh, can you believe it's our 200th? Episode? I can't believe it. Can you believe it? No. Totally. Wow. Yes, we are celebrating our 200th plus four years full-time travel around Oz. Unbelievable. It is unbelievable. We set off Father's Day 2019 for two years of full-time travel. We loved it so much. We never want to stop. And now here we are four years later. This is our full-time lifestyle. It's also our full-time work. And we're just so grateful to be able to share our family adventures with you and yours. Yeah, hopefully inspire you to get out there and see this incredible country of ours. Thank you so much for your support. I mean, not only for our now 5 million views on YouTube. Our podcast also celebrating its 200th episode. Yes, to, for 84 countries all around the world who tune into that each week. Thank you so much. And also to our TV viewing audience in Melbourne, Geelong, Adelaide, the last two years. You wow. guys are awesome. You are. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> okay, now to celebrate, we have got something epic. It is the ultimate Touring Australia giveaway. We have reached out to all of our fantastic partners and product providers and have put together the most amazing giveaway. What's it valued at, Jasper? $35,000. Yes, you heard him right, $35,000. Plus, more that are coming on every single day. Incredible, okay, the canopy. It is the lightest, strongest, newest canopy on the market. It is absolutely rocking the industry. We're giving one of those away. Yeah, mode four by four accessories. Thank you. Unbelievable. That will include the fitment. Uh, MSA, of course. How good are they? Lifetime guarantee on so many of their products. You can choose. You can maybe get a drop slide. There'll be a voucher there for you to fit the canopy out how you want as well. Plus, from Tony Davies, Australian 4x4 Treks, a trip for two to the Cape, a tag along to a valued at over seven and a half thousand dollars. I mean, the prize pool is, we are pinching ourselves. It is, it is that good. This is the ultimate touring prize pack, really. It really is. Plus all of our partners, including Stratus Outdoors, Nike, Adventure Pumps, Outback Tracks, Light Force, and so much more. If you love our 79 as much as we do, you can basically now build your own version of this with all of the camping essentials that we love and use every single day. All right, our way of saying thank you for joining us. Now you do have to be subscribed to our YouTube channel yes, to find out the it. details on how to enter this prize draw. The details will be in next week's episode. Tonight yes. we start our adventure to the very tip of Australia, up to the Cape. Amazing. You're gonna love it. Thank you so much again for your support. Happy 200. Woohoo! We're doing it. It's finally that time to make our way to the very top of Australia. It is Cape York Peninsula, four years full-time travel for us coming up this month and we can't believe we are finally tackling this adventure of a lifetime. It really is the ultimate off-road touring I think that you can do in Australia. Yes, and we're so excited and also a little bit nervous to be doing this trip, but we will be sharing all the highlights with you, including, of course, all the famous station stays, the camping areas, there's beach camping, there's rainforest camping. We'll be ditching the van for a couple of nights and heading far over to the East Coast, and we'll be bringing you all of the history and culture that make this region so special. Now, there's plenty of adventure yeah. up in the Cape, and so we're going to be sharing Sharing that some of it will tackle some of it will let Light other up. people yeah. tackle I think because <laughs> yes. uh, there is so much to do whether you're a novice or whether you're an experienced four-wheel driver mm -hmm. you can really make the most of your time here yeah. by picking and choosing how you want to do this primarily we're going to show you how to do this safely without breaking 
you or any of your belongings or of course any of your vehicles yes that is so true but we will be getting amongst it and bringing all of the action to you including of course the overland telegraph track the infamous gunshot, gunshot palm gun creek baby. and we will even be tackling some water crossings as well yeah look we're going to give it a crack <laughs> Look, we are heading up with Tony Davies, who owns and operates Australian 4x4 Treks. This guy is not only a four-wheel drive instructor, he runs tag-along tours all across Australia. Mm -hmm. So we feel like we're in safe hands heading up there with him and his tag-along as well. So we'll bring you some of that detail. Of course, the other highlights include the Jardine River Ferry Crossing, mm -hmm. Lockhart River, Weeper, Bramwell Station, Portland Roads, mm. wow, and Chili Beach. How good does that place so look? So beautiful. And we're even going to, of course, make our way up there to get the obligatory oh, Jim, selfie Jim, at the Australia. sign, the northernmost tip of Australia's mainland. Before we do a day trip across the Torres Strait to Thursday Island, I can't wait to do that. No, I'm so excited for that as well. And what's so exciting is that we are going to bundle all of this awesome content up into an ebook as well, which will include all the detail that you need to know before you start planning your trek to the Cape. It's something that we wish we had access to before we hit the road any minute now. It will include all of the details around where we stayed, all the experiences that we did, all of the safety information, how to make sure that you are prepared, how to get your vehicles prepared, all of that awesome information from Tony at Australian 4x4 Treks on what to carry with you and how to make sure that you get yourself and your vehicles up and back safely. Fantastic and it really doesn't matter whether you are on a motorbike, yeah. whether you're on foot with a swag, <laughs> uh, you know, or whether you're taking your camper trailer or you're like us taking your big rig, we will show you how to, that's right, get there safely, have the yeah. best experience that will last a lifetime. I think it is time to hit the road. <sighs> But first of all, we're gonna share with you this fabulous campground. It's just outside of Cooktown. In fact, it's only 25 minutes up the road. It's the start on the famous Bloomfield mm. track. I think it's only a few kilometers down to the Lion's Den where we went and had a great meal last night. Gee, that was good. Was. Yeah. We also have a little museum over there as well, which is worth checking out. Mm -hmm. Grab yourself a couple of beers before coming back to Rossville Retreat. This place is just a slice of heaven, isn't it? It is. We absolutely love it here, of course, run by our good friends now, Dave and Sandy. And what they have here is just incredible. It is a natural bushland setting with a 1400 metre grass airstrip that just makes it so unique. They are working so hard on this property to put in 12 glamping lodges alongside their camping. So it's the best of both worlds really. And then it is bordered by the stunning Little Annan River that flows through the front of the property. You can go down there while away the hours watching the river have a campfire. They're putting in new facilities and amenities all the time. It's somewhere we're going to have to keep coming back to see the improvements that these guys are doing. And we would highly recommend giving yourself at least a few mm. days, if not longer, to just be here in this environment. Of course, bordered with that backdrop of stunning Black Mountain National wow. Park. It is amazing here. Look, the people make the place, you know, and also the journey a lot of yep. the time. So if you want to be hosted by two of the friendliest, happiest campground hosts, yep come here meet Dave and Sandy for yourself you'll you'll absolutely love it here we're actually got a bit of a, a spoil tonight something very unique mm. there is one of the chief elders from Arnhem Land Molan he's visiting the region he's camping here at Rossville Retreat has offered to share an indigenous dinner with us mm. tonight he's actually doing a ground oven, I think, is the best way to describe this, mm. where they've dug a massive hole, they're putting in all of the fire to get the coals all hot, laying it with hot stones, and then going to cook up an absolute feast tonight. This will be a first for the feel goods. We can't wait to share that experience with you. Before we hit the road <laughs> tomorrow, yeah. Well, look, we will be covering this series off over the next four weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is going to be jam-packed with everything that you'll ever want to know about going to the Cape. And at the end of it, we're also going to put in a bit of a bonus highlights around Cooktown. 
where you can stay and play in there, the history, the yeah. culture of this very special place as well. That will be at the end of this series, but I think awesome. it's time to get ourselves together. Holy. Look at this van. <laughs> this is the cleanest it's going to be for weeks, <laughs> oh my probably gosh. ever. We might have to do a how to clean your van special we'll, at we'll, the end. We'll share before and afters, definitely. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Getting ready to go to the Cape. Today's the day. We are going to be installing our eye check tire pressure monitoring system. Now this particular model I've got is perfect for caravanners if you've got a dual axle like we have and also a spare wheel for each, which means that you're gonna need this model here. It is the IC010. And that's because it does then give you tire monitor sensors for each tire, so times 10 which is very cool. It's a five minute install. Uh, what's really cool is that you just mount it on the dash and it has this really nifty solar panel on top, which means that it stays self powered. Uh, heaps of other features that we're gonna talk about as we're actually using it in situ up there in the Cape for both on road and off road. We'll be able to give you all the stats and the figures and really see how this actually works. It gets such a huge wrap online and Sam who owns and operates iCheck has really, I think delivered a product that fills some of the gaps in the market. Uh, he's also got a couple of other products that you can purchase to complement the tire pressure monitoring system, which includes a signal booster, which we may or may not need. So we'll see how we go. If you've got a really long van, you're probably gonna need one of those. But again, a fairly simple install, but it does require either 12 or a 24 volt connection through positive and negative terminals. So we'll, uh, we'll see how we go with that. There is also a digital tire pressure reader, which is awesome because my current one, which is now I think my third one, my first one died if you remember, about a year ago, the second one has been intermittent and I've noticed that it's not very accurate. So I'm hoping that this product is going to be the answer for me and uh, we've also got some tire deflators now Katie's a little bit upset that she's not going to be able to use her sticks as she has done in the past but I've uh, assured her that she can she can still find a cape stick if she needs to all right let's get this installed and we'll come back to you with a bit of an update on how this actually works looking forward to it We wanted to take a clean van to the Cape, so we're doing a bit of scrubbing. Good job. How's mum doing? I just might come a bit closer. Righto. That's it. And what about this one over here? Get that sorted. Watch this, ready? Mate, you're a natural. What's so fun about it? It's just really fun. It's Good. wet and it's sudsy. What's not fun about that? And you get a result after effort. I'm even doing the Toyota brand. Good stuff, mate. You have to walk like a mile. <laughs> 
When I was a kid, I had to walk a mile just to the front of the car to wash it. <laughs> It's a long way to the top <laughs> if you want to see the tip of Australia. How good is this, Jasper? Uh -huh. Yeah. On our way to the tippity top of Australia. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, look, we have dreamt about doing this since we hit the road, but to be honest, we were very green, nervous, unsure. You know. I still feel like that. Yeah. All of that. Yeah, definitely. There's still, <laughs> you know, nerves for both of us, but... What is great is that we're hooking in with Tony Davies. He's a qualified four wheel drive instructor. Yep. He's a Savannah guide and he's done this tag along tour to the Cape many times. Yes. So they've already left yesterday morning. We're now leaving today. We're going to pretty well hook up with them at Archer River Roadhouse, which will be our mm -hmm. first stop. Uh, look, the first 220 or so kilometres is on the blacktop, on yes. the bitumen. Yeah, so that'll Which give is, us a good run in. That's right. And then it starts to break up from there, part yep. bitumen, you know, like sort of these 20 kilometre breaks where there's really good bitumen and then there's corrugation. So, yeah. Kind of, you know, gives you this <sighs> initiation it over a, a couple of hundred kilometres. Yep. Uh, and then we will be zigzagging with them, taking our van most of the time, leaving it sometimes. But we'll take you through the entire trip itinerary uh, that will include really how to do Cape York Peninsula without breaking stuff. I mean, that's, that is our, our goal. Yeah. We, uh, we really want to show people that th you can do this really safely as mm. long as you've got, you know, all your preparation, your vehicles have got, you've got them sorted before you leave and yep. then you've got backup plans if stuff does go awry. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. that there are uh, alternative ways to do it um, different from what yeah. most of us see on social media and all the, the crazy antics that you see that people get up to up there on the Cape. We'll definitely go and find some of those crazy yeah. antics, uh, the crazies, and we will film some of that as well because um, there is some excitement around that too. Yeah. And, you know, if you're a serious four-wheel driver and you really do want to be challenged, yeah. there's some amazing challenging locations that, uh, you know, are very famous now or infamous in some cases. So yeah. What I'm excited about is that everybody who has been to the Cape before that has reached out to us has said the environment is so spectacular right. and so different to what mm. you imagine it to be. So I'm really excited about that. So good. All right. It's time for us to stop talking, hit the road, Jack. It right is oh. the best day we have oh had in a good couple of weeks. Yep, so. Stunning. It is perfectly still, perfectly sunny. Love it. Ready to go, Jasper? Mm -hmm. What are you most excited about, mate? Uh, I don't know yet. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. The wildlife too. Probably seeing a big croc, Ooh. but from a distance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Okay. Boom. Bye. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down The adventure is about to get real. Yeah. All right. Oh, the bumps are anyway. Yes, the corrugations. The gravel road is just about to start here. As a marker point where we are currently at with this road, it's the PDR, it's called. What does that stand for? It's the Peninsula Development Road. It starts down at Lakeland and actually goes all the way through to Weeper. 
Beautiful, and a bit of a common misconception that's getting out there, and we were even told this um, down in Mossman. Yeah. No, no, it's all bitumen all the way to the top now. Not true. No, definitely not true, and not even bitumen all the way to Weepa yet. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been reading up on it, and there's obviously planned roadworks in place that I think have been started in bloody... 1922. Yeah, a long time ago. Um, what they're doing is sections in between the dirt and obviously trying to reduce the amount mm. of dirt, particularly on the stretch from Lakeland to Weeper. Okay, so we're going to get our act together now because with eight tyres, <laughs> yes, there's a lot of uh, air to let out. Yeah. Look, depending on your rig and depending on your tyres, uh, the manufacturer's suggestions will determine what you actually do. For us, with our Zone RV, the dual axle, and the 79, we will be dropping our tyre pressures down on every tyre to 25 PSI. Okay. okay, now how do we come up with that? YouTube videos, mm -hmm. talking to four-wheel drive experts, Tony Davies, who we're on this tour with, who we'll be catching up with later today. Good recommendation as a starting point. Anything over 30 PSI and you do run into the risk of uh, pretty well having a puncture or a blowout. Damage, yeah. Yeah, something. Okay, so we'll talk to him more about that when we do our segment all on tyre safety. But we've both got our tyre pressure readers. <laughs> it's no real match, is it? <laughs> Does the job though, okay. Yeah, this is the new one that we've received there from iCheck, mm. what's great, it's a digital readout. You can change the battery and it also has this really nifty little tread measurer. That's yep. cool. Yeah, anyway, that's pretty cool. So we'll, we'll get going, get cracking, and then we'll hit the gravel. Here awesome. we go. Okay, let's do it. Ah. Something else I use, bit of a knee saver my little tidy turf mat, just when I'm doing tires, even hitching, anything like that. It is really good. It does save you getting uh, a bit of bumps and bruising, a bit of grazing. So anyway, just a bit of a tip. I used to use just a little blue foam mat, but anything like that will do the job perfectly. All right, let's get these tires down. I've got to stop talking. I think what we might try and do, we'll reach out to Sam at iCheck and see if we can do a bit of a giveaway uh, with some of this kit as well, because um, I'm sure there's plenty of you out there who would love to get your hands on some of this gear. So we'll, we'll come back to you with some details on that. And uh, I think we'll throw in Katie's cape deflator stick as well. <laughs> Limited edition. There it is, all right. Ah, no train. <laughs> we just left the windows down and Kate said, quick, go and get the windows up. So yeah. fortunately we've done that. Here we go, look at this. Nah, no, that's all right, we'll get a nice shot. Give him a wave, he's back on the bitumen. Just to show the accuracy too, you can see all of the tyres are coming back into sync now and they're all at 25 PSI, which is awesome. So again, just showing you how accurate this is. Isn't that a great sign? And I just remembered, we've also got the iCheck tire deflators that you can set so <laughs> probably we'll should have used that. them yeah but we've got a couple of weeks ahead of us so we'll give those a crack as well and then we'll be able to see how accurate they are with this as well good idea all right so far looking good a little stick is going to be redundant it is <laughs> there they go the 79 series Woo see you up there boys jumping from cliffs so high Trust in our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down
have to add it in. What state are we from? A state of confusion. Uh, Queenslanders, here we go, boom, we're up. We're in. There you go, make sure you put your state in. Ask pass it to that lady. She's got to put her state in. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Thank you. Here you go, put your, put your pen on here. Even if the sky is falling down. Wow, okay, that's unique. Thank yeah, you. Bring your cup of tea. Okay. Yeah, it'll be the best ten dollars I've ever spent on you. Right. What did you get? I'm intrigued. You'll have to wait and see. Okay. The Han River Crocodile Burger, didn't I? Mm -hmm. <laughs> to the playground. There we go. Give you an idea on the diesel fuel. Two dollars and sixteen cents per litre. Not too bad. Oh, it's a peacock. There you go. The peacock scared me. Like well, there he goes. He's off. Okay, that looks like caravan storage area, doesn't it? Looks like that's the uh, all the people who don't want to take their vans, which could be for good reason, right? So there you go. You can store your van here at the Han River Roadhouse. There is alcohol served here, but you have to consume it on the premises. But how's this for a treehouse? Haven't they nailed that? Go Jasperini! I made a new friend! You made a new friend, you ripper! Whoa! Whoa! This is so cute! Jack! Yeah! I've got the best Have you, mate? Wow! Hello there. Hello there. It's all right, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Han River. It's not far until you hit the corrugations, <laughs> Katie, and then it is far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Baked beans, eggs on toast, fly in my ear. Beautiful. Stumbling out of bed, and I still got you in my head. From all those pretty words you said, it's like I'm wasted. Every time I see your face, I'm losing track of time and space. I don't know where I am, it's like I'm wasted. And I won't waste it. And I promise that I, I will stay. I can't get you out of my mind I will follow you wherever And I won't waste it Slow this down, my heart is screaming out your name, I'm wasted on you. Here we are, right underneath the stars, so let's get a little reckless. You make me breathless, and I won't waste this. And I promise that I...
morning and good morning Jasper Rooney. How'd you sleep, mate? Yeah, really good. good. Yeah. Last night was actually the best night's sleep I've had in a few days since cracking my rib. Yeah. Woo. It was pretty quiet too, aside yeah. from the, the odd camper with loud music. Yes, there, there was a few motorbike crews there. Okay, let's give you the day one wrap up. Yeah, yeah, we survived. We did survive <laughs> and it was an epic day. Uh, we are into the start of day two. We're just in the queue here. Actually, they're moving forward fuel. to get fuel. So I'll just move so I don't lose the spot. Okay, let's talk about what we did yesterday. So we yeah. left Rossville Retreat mm -hmm. uh, over there just south of Cooktown with our beautiful friends Dave and Sandy. It's about 430 kilometres. Yeah to get to where we are, which is Archer River Roadhouse. And okay. that doesn't sound like a lot of Ks, but given <laughs> what, you know, the road conditions are and the bitumen and the gravel and the corrugations, it was about eight hours all up between setting off and getting here with plenty of stops in between. Look, and some good breaks along the way, yeah. as you say. Uh, what happens is, is there's 15 to 20 Ks of gravel that vary from good to terrible. Yeah. I mean, corrugations that uh, shake through you, you know, and yeah. you're, you're like, oh, and we pull over and we check everything, and I've got some great overlay here now of mm. not only under the van onto that ATX suspension, but inside the van as well. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, so amazing, considering some of those spots that were really rough. What was awesome, though, is that those spots and the dirt sections are broken up with bitumen. So, yeah. as Paul says, said to me, you know, kind of by the time you get to the bitumen and then you've got that beautiful stretch of, <sighs> you kind of forget what you've just driven on. You dry clean your memories. Yeah. yeah. And, and you think, wow, this is really great. And then, you know, and you're just like, oh, yeah. Lord, get me out of here. Uh but they're, they're in bite-size amounts yeah. that, you, yeah, you're able to get past. So that break-up is actually a really good thing. Yeah, it is. What was awesome to see was um, there's plenty of roadworks, mm -hmm. which is great. There are plenty of signs warning you of rough surfaces, dust holes in those sections that are really bad. The amount of... A, a dust hole, but mind you, we never yeah. knew what it was until you hit one, is a massive pothole in the red dirt the natural environment that's been filled in basically with the dust yeah. and uh, there's plenty of dust and so they're easy to miss so yep. the fact that someone's gone along and putting signs and sometimes even big markers yes is awesome yeah the graders were out and we like jagged hitting those roads straight after the graders have been on which was just awesome and the water trucks as well so there's plenty of work going on on the roads to improve the conditions we stayed on channel 40 uh, when we're in convoy with the rest of the gang we're on channel 17 uh, we will duel up today with another radio so we've got 40 and 17 running so we can still communicate with oncoming traffic passing traffic uh, there are some people that you know there's always the odd idiot i guess that you know screen past you and you're yeah. just seeing plenty of people going fast you know in the dust and that it's a little dangerous to be honest um but the majority of people are very good and as long as you communicate and are very clear and with your intentions on the radio people are amazing the road workers you know just saying thank you to the to them as you go past yep. they're just awesome the guy yep. doing the watering to to i guess lessen the dust just yeah, say hi. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Um, noticeable things were the amount of traffic heading south. Um, yeah. So we are, I guess, considered later in the season. So a lot of people are heading south, which is great. I think it would be um, a different experience following a lot of northbound traffic and the amount of dust. Yep. Um, oh, look out, I'm in. But look, we learned a lot. And maybe we should do a segment on what we've learned on this trip. Yeah. coming up all the lessons that we've learnt from driving on the corrugations to driving in the dust it's to the double d the double d righto well we shall uh we'll do that for now we better get out fuel up we are a few minutes away from uh hitting our next destination which is iron range national park over on the east side and we're doing that in convoy so we've got to be ready three dollars and two cents a litre <laughs> hey love it okay <laughs> see you later Bye. Bye. Okay, there you go. It was three dollars and two cents a litre. So. Alrighty, up to the nine, turning left towards the Weber. Yay. <laughs>
All right, so we're now joined the tag along tour. The van is safe here at Archer River, which is great for the next couple of nights. We'll be in convoy, which is very cool. Just an update on that fuel. It was 100 litres for $302, basically. So $3.02 per litre. <laughs> Oh gosh, there you go. All right, on the road, time to concentrate. You yeah, good, Jasper? Yeah, woo! woo this is the first. Here we go. I've got a red light. Can you believe you can get a red light in the tip? There you go. <laughs> a bit of road works. Good stuff. Thanks for watching. Please do like, subscribe, and share our channel. And if you'd like more information on full-time RV travel and living, visit our website, thefeelgoodfamily.com. There you'll find loads of free resources, our weekly podcast, caravan cooking recipes, our monthly Go RV magazine articles, and much more. We look forward to seeing you next week. Take care of yourself and your family, and happy trails. Yeah, I love cleaning the van days. It's, um, I mean, it's hard work, but his name's Kevin. Yeah, he's named after Kevy Walters. Look at that. He's kind of got a similar-looking skin tone to Kevy Walters. <laughs> My dad says you're a flaming galah. <laughs> uh, all right the wrap up before we get into day two we left you at ross river, river retreat Rossville. okay let's try again so <laughs> that would be a terrible name for it ross river. it was uh it was good except for the mosquitoes oh, just don't feel so good all right ready